you have provided us with some great footage and uh, the organization has provided us with a great footage going back all the way into the 1950s. And the 1950s were a very interesting time. And we'll just kind of just, I don't want to get into the details of it, but just some of the names, guys like Willie Marshall and Frank Mathers made their way to Hershey. And those have ultimately become legendary names and really the kind of the real building of the popularity of the, and the success of the Hershey Bears organization really goes back into those days back in the 1950s. Yeah, late 1940s, a few really big things for the franchise happened in the late 1940s, but you're right. The, the 1950s and late 1950s, particularly when the team won back-to-back -back Calder Cups, is where things really started and started to build something special. You know, in the late 1940s, Arnie Kuhlman comes in. He was with the team for 12 years, was there for a couple Calder Cups. Lloyd Blinko was a big part of helping Sollenberger build the team. But something happened in the 1950s that really changed the course of the franchise. 1956 was a huge year. A rival, the Pittsburgh Hornets, a team the Bears had beat for the Calder Cup, their first Calder Cup in 1947, they dissolved essentially. And the Bears were able to get seven players from the Pittsburgh Hornets. And there were some fairly significant names in there. Willie Marshall, one of them, who became the all-time leading scorer in the American Hockey League. But none bigger as far as impact goes than Frank Mathers, a guy that came in with the Hershey Bears organization 35 years in every role. And Frank Mathers, there'll be none like him in the world of minor league hockey and in the American Hockey League. 